Hoping that the weather holds out somewhat, at least for the folks in Orangeburg, because the Orangeburg Diamond Youth World Series Tournament, it's a very big deal, y'all, and it is about to officially start. I need this to work out because they're expecting to draw a huge crowd and I'm, I'm going to be there. I'm not throwing out a pitch. Oh, I thought I was. Wonk, oh, wonk. do I'm they not. want you to? Is I it too late? I think it's too late, um, oh. especially since I don't know how to throw out a pitch. Yeah, but. I was worried for you anyway. <laughs> I will be there this evening about 7 o'clock. We're super excited about that. Our Victoria Samuels is live at South Carolina State for the kickoff. She joins us now. Victoria, there's nothing but sunshine there right now. Fingers crossed that it continues for the next several hours. Yes, Darcy and Andrea, of course, fingers crossed. As Efren just said, you know, there's severe thunderstorms around here and the rain has eased up. But we're not sure if it's going to go away. And because of that, they have moved the opening ceremony for the Diamond Youth World Series from the SC State Football Stadium to the arena behind me. They are now putting in those finishing touches before fans, players and teams arrive. Over 250 players ages ranging between seven and eight from 11 states in the south have gathered here in Orangeburg for the Diamond Youth World Series. Teams are coming from as far as Texas and as close as right here in town. Tonight, guests are going to be welcomed by Chris Singleton, who played ball at Charleston Southern, and Gamecocks new head coach, Paul Maneri, and more, including our Darcy Strickland. Parks and Rex was out today putting up flags and preparing the fields for this weekend. Each team will play at least four games, and coaches and players are so excited. I was able to speak to some of them, and this is what they had to say. It's an amazing opportunity to showcase Orangeburg, to showcase our facilities, to showcase the baseball game that we love and how we play it uh, in Orangeburg. Um, the kids are excited. We've been practicing for over three months and they're ready to compete. We didn't get to compete at the district and state level because of the automatic bid, so they're ready to play someone other than themselves and compete and hopefully compete at a high level. We were with the South Carolina coach and we were like talking about like all the team and stuff, all the equipment and it was very fun. Now, if you want to come out to the tournament, a ticket for the whole tournament will run you about $30. But if you're only looking to come out for a day to watch a team or so, it'll be about $10 for that day pass. Back to you, Darcy and Andrea. So, Victoria, quick question before we let you go. This is the first time Orangeburg County has had the pleasure of hosting an event like this. I know there's got to be a huge financial boost to all of the businesses sure. in that surrounding the area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they're expecting anywhere between 20 and 30,000 fans to come out for this tournament. Earlier, a couple weeks ago, I spoke to some local businesses and they are just so excited for this influx of fans and players. And it's going to be such a big deal. As you said, it's the first time Orangeburg is hosting this tournament. They've hosted state championships in the past, but never a World Series. Oh, I don't even want to think about what that Orangeburg Chick-fil-A drive through line is going to be like. All right. Thank you so much, Victoria and Darcy. You drive safely. I will. I'll see you way. in a couple hours, Vic. Down 26. <laughs>